Here's a quick video about how I keep African cichlids with Central American cichlids. Specifically, I keep uh, electric yellow cichlids with flower horns. The way that I do that is first I'll feed bug bites the spirulina formula, there we go, and that I just fed them, and then I'll feed mealworms, you really can't see those, but trust me they're there, and I'll try to feed so that the flower horns get first dibs on them, like that right there, I'll feed a couple of more so you can see them, let's get into these bad boys here, do this with one hand. I've always seen other YouTubers do things with one hand. It always seemed hard. Trust me, it's just as hard as it seems. Probably gonna speed this part up actually. There we go. This one. Okay, here goes. A little bit more for the flower horns here. Yeah, so the flower horns get the mealworms, which have more protein, and then the spirulina flakes go to everyone, but the Malawi cichlids don't get bloat from eating too much protein, because that's the real issue. When people want to keep Malawi cichlids with non-Malawi cichlids, because in terms of temperament, aggressive cichlids can be kept with aggressive cichlids. In terms of water parameters, flower horns and Malawi cichlids can be kept in this water, which is about 8.0 pH, just that's what the water in Davis is. They can be kept to the same temperature. The real issue is an issue of diet. The Malawis need vegetable matter. The flower horns need protein and meat. So if you're really careful and really on it, you can feed one group one diet, the other group the other diet, and you'll be fine. And they are show-stoppingly gorgeous, although sometimes things like this will happen, which is fine. They can handle a little bit of protein every now and again, a little treat. But yeah, and actually, I guess I should say, the Malawi cichlids don't need quite as much vegetable matter as fish like peacocks, I want to say. Um, I might be wrong about that, actually, so take what I say with a grain of salt. I'll put a little disclaimer in the video. But yeah, I don't want this to go on forever. I just wanted to show you guys how I managed to do the unthinkable in the hobby. Anyway, tank on, take care. Thanks for watching. This has been your friendly neighborhood fish keeper.